Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Bald Metal Nerd coming at you with another video. In this video, I thought I would cover, you know, serious music listening. Since in my last video, I covered casual. thought this would be a great counter to that video. Now, to me, the main qualifier of a serious music listener is they take some time to do nothing but listen to music. Now that doesn't mean they do all of their listening that way, because that's just not, you know, unless you don't have a job, most people can't just sit and listen to music for hours a day and do nothing else. It's just not realistic for most people. But, you know, as long as you do at least some of your music listening this way, you're probably a serious music listener, more than likely. Um, you know, as for me, I try to do an hour or two a week of it. Sometimes I don't get to do it at all, uh, but you know, I have a wife, a job, and kids, so that kind of, you know, kills, those are major killers of free time. Um, you know, now another hallmark of a serious music listener is they actively seek out new music in their preferred genres on a regular basis. I mean, I'm constantly, you know checking out new bands. Now, granted, since I'm, you know, I'm not young, as young as I used to be, new bands aren't as impressing me as much as they used to, but that doesn't mean I don't find any good new stuff. I do. I do still find new stuff to like, but it really has to strike a huge chord with me to make it into any sort of rotation with me for me not to instantly forget about the band. Um, now, a lot of serious music listeners also buy a, f a fair amount of music, but not all do. But I'd say most do. I still buy a lot of CDs. That's my preferred format. And honestly, you know, I've said this in other videos. If CDs ever somehow become unavailable, I will probably drop out of buying music at that point because I'm not going to pay for files since those are easily had for free. Be like paying for air. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, you know, now, I think since there are a lot more casual listeners out there in the world than there are serious listeners, I think, honestly, that's what killed recorded music sales. Or, you know, it hasn't totally killed it, but it's really made them go, you know, hit the ground. And I think it's just because, you know, casual music listeners can just, you know, go to YouTube or any other number of websites, type in the name of song and listen to it right away. Any song that they want to hear instantly available. It's not a bad thing. I mean, it's awesome that all this music is available, but it unless you're a serious music listener, you don't feel the need to necessarily own this music. You know, um, and to me, the final hallmark of a serious music listener relates to, you know, sound quality. Most serious music listeners want their music to sound good. A lot of casual music listeners are happy just to put music on and let it play in the background and they're not particularly paying attention to the sound quality they're just like all right so they're kind of bopping their head a little bit kind of hear it in the background but they're not paying attention does this sound good how does it sound they're not paying attention to the properties of sound anything like that whereas if you're a serious music listener and you have all of your attention on the music you are acutely aware of how it sounds coming out of your equipment you're you know and you want it to sound good. If you're really paying attention to it, you want it to be ear candy. You want it just to be like, oh my god, it sounds great. That's what you crave when you're really paying attention to the music. Now, that brings me, of course, to my next topic, which is audiophiles. Do I consider myself an audiophile? It really depends on your definition of the term. Uh, to some people, I would be considered one. Um, because I do care a lot about my sound, you know, listening to music. And I have spent some money over the years on stereo equipment. Not an insane amount of money. I've probably in my entire life have spent less than $3,000 on audio equipment. Now, I, I make my purchase care. I'm sorry, my purchases carefully. And I tend to keep equipment a really long time. But I really do care about how it sounds quite a bit. Sound is very important to me, but I'm not constantly chasing perfect sound. Um, you know, it's just, it, I, I, I 
get to a point where I really like my setup and my sound and I stop. That doesn't mean I don't ever upgrade. I do sometimes. But, you know, um, so yeah, some people would consider me an audiophile, but I'm not the people who constantly buy stuff and people who would spend, say, $25,000 on a digital analog converters. And yes, there are some out there that cost that much. They exist. For people like that, I would not be considered an audiophile because even if I could afford a $25,000, you know, DAC, I wouldn't buy it. I would stick with the sub $200 unit that did the job 90% as well as the 25 grand one because I am, you know, really familiar with the law of diminishing returns when it comes to audio equipment. And if you just spend you know, a couple hundred to a couple of thousand dollars, somewhere in that range, you can get really good sound. I mean, sound that is just, for lack of a better term, just awesome. You can get awesome sound for not tons of money. And to me, I don't see the value in spending 10 times that amount to get slightly better sound. It's just, to me, that would be insane. Therefore, you know, Am I, I don't know, you guys can tell me in the comments if you think I'm one or not, I don't know, um, you know, which pretty much is going to kind of um, leave me to sign off this video. Um, what kind of listener do you consider yourself? Do you consider yourself a casual listener? Do you consider yourself a serious listener or more commonly a mix of the two? I'm definitely a mix of the two. I spend a fair amount of time casually listening, but I do try to do serious listening as well. Um, and, you know, I have the, some of the other hallmarks of a serious listener. And also, do you consider yourself an audiophile? Why or why not? Just let me know. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. If you did like what you see, please, you know, thumbs up, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Thanks for watching. I will catch you guys next time. Hey guys, just wanted to make another addendum for this video. I apologize for making another addendum on a video, but when you're doing these discussion videos, uh, it's easy sometimes to forget points that you wanted to make in the videos. And as you're reviewing your output before you upload, oh, you're like, oh, I forgot to mention that. <laughs> so I'm just adding on, so forgive me. Um, I In my other videos, I've been talking a lot about then and now. Uh, types of, you know, things to do with music listening or music or whatever. You know, back uh, in the pre-internet era, if you wanted to do serious music listening, you would sit down at your stereo or whatever, and you would listen to CD or vinyl, either on your stereo or through a good pair of headphones, sometimes tapes too. Um, and that was it. That's how you did serious music listening. Of course, nowadays, many, many people still listen to a physical format on their stereo is serious music listening. I commonly still do it, and I know many others still commonly do it. Um, you know, otherwise the vinyl researches wouldn't be a thing. Uh, so yeah, a lot of people still listen to physical media as their serious music listening. But of course, it's not limited to physical media now. And if you have a 320 kilobit per second, you know, MP3 or a FLAC file on your computer, and you're listening through a high quality, you know, uh, di digital analog converter on your stereo, or you're listening through a good pair of headphones or whatever, and you're paying just paying attention to the music, that's serious music listening. You're, you know, or you're doing it through your smartphone or MP3 player and you're exclusively paying attention to the music, serious music listening. So it, it, it has expanded just like, uh, you know, the other forms of music listening, but I don't think it has as radically changed as the other types of music listening. So anyway, want to hear how you guys listen. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I apologize for the addendum. See you next time.